Hello everyone, this is Mamta Mund and today we will learn and solve exercise 9c questions 1 to 15 of chapter 9. Chapter name is Ratio, Proportion and Unitary Method of Class 6 of Composite Mathematics Textbook. Let's get started and solve some questions. Today we will learn and solve exercise 9c questions 1 to 15 of chapter 9. Chapter name is Ratio and Proportions. And topic is concept of proportion. Let's solve some questions. Now we will solve question number 6. Mrs. Rao was making cookies. She needed 12 dozen. Her recipe is for 3 dozen called for 4K, 4x. Write a proportion and solve it to find how many eggs she needed for 12 dozen cookies. For recipes, he needed three dozen, three dozen cookies for four eggs. We have to find out how many eggs she needed for twelve dozen of cookies. She needed three dozen of cookies for four eggs. We have to find the number of eggs for twelve dozen of cookies. So four numbers A, B, C, D are in proportion. Then we can write H to B is proportional to C H to D. Let the number of eggs be X. How many x? That is number of x be x. Her, uh, her recipe is for 3 dozen called for 4 x. So 3 dozen cookies is to 4 x. Write a proportion is equal to how many x? She needed for 12 dozen cookies. So 12 dozen cookies divided by x, x. Now we have to convert this 3 divided by 4 into equivalent ratio that is equal to the antecedent which 12. And we know 3 multiplied by 4 is 12. Now 3 multiplied by 4 is equal to 12. So we have to multiply 4, the consequent 4 with 4. 3, divided by, 3 multiplied by 12, 4 is 12. We have to multiply 3 with 4 is, that is equal to 12. So we have to multiply the consequent 4 with 4. So 4 multiplied by 4 is 16. Which is equal to 12 divided by x is equal to 12 divided by 16. 12 divided by x is equal to 12 divided by 16. So x is 16. So number of x will be 16. So number of x she needed for twelve dozen cookies. is 16. So number of x is 16. Now we will solve question number 7. Bikram's recipe for fruit punch called for 5 parts of water to 2 parts of punch mix. 5 parts of water to 2 parts of punch mix. Set up a proportion and find out how much water did he need for 8 cups of punch mix. mix. We have to find the quantity of water for 
8 cups of punch mix. Quantity of water. Ratio of quantity of water to the punch mix is 5 parts of water is to 2 parts of punch mix which is equal to suppose the quantity of water part is x x is to 8 cups of punch mix x is to 8 four numbers a b c d are in proportion then we then we can write a is to b is proportional to c is to d that is a d which is equal to b c that is product of extreme is equal to product of means so here five parts of water to two parts of punch mix so let The quantity of water part Vx here yeah, this one. 5 parts of given 5 parts of water to 2 parts of punch mix 5 parts of water to 2 parts of punch mix which is equal to set of a proportion so this is equal to how much water we have taken x quantity of water x is to 8 cups of punch mix. So a x divided by 8. Now we have to convert this 5 divided by 2 to equivalent, res equivalent ratio which is equal to the consequent of the second ratio x divided by 8 which is equal to 8. So we have to convert this consequent to which number we have to multiply the consequent of 5 divided by 2 we get 8 which is equal to the consequent of the second ratio so we know 2 multiplied by 4 is 8 so we have to multiply the number 4 same number with the antecedent 5 now 5 multiplied by 4 divided by 2 multiplied by 4 5 multiplied by 4 is 20 20 divided by 8 is equal to x divided by 8 now both have the same equal consequent 8 now x will be 20 so 20 parts of water how much water means 20 parts of water so 20 parts of water needed for 8 cups of punch mix so answer is 20 parts of water if you have now subscribed my youtube channel then please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any doubts then please write in comment section and I will reply. Keep learning, keep watching and please subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you. If you like this video then please click the like button and share this. If you have not subscribed my YouTube channel then please subscribe my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for getting notifications of future videos. If you have any doubts then please write in comment section and I will reply. Keep learning, keep watching and thanks for watching. Please subscribe my